My name is David Lantigua, and I'm an associate professor of theology here at the University of Notre Dame. I work in the area of social ethics and modern Catholicism, focusing particularly on the context of Latin America. My current book project explores the transformation of modern Catholic social teaching through the preferential option for the poor. And what I'm particularly interested in is looking at the contribution of the Latin American church and theology coming out of Latin America after the Second Vatican Council. And my work looking at Pope Francis has been really focused on his turn to popular movements. These communities that very much kind of emerged in the 1990s and 2000s that, that he's drawing attention to have all similarly kind of been responsive to the emergence of economic globalization, what some have called neoliberalism. An amazing example of a popular movement of the kind that Pope Francis has turned our attention to has been the coalition of Immokalee workers that began in the 1990s in Immokalee, Florida. And one of the things that they have been able to do is really affect change at the highest level, not just government policies and creating more regulation of the practices of growers and farmers and their treatment of, of farm workers, but also at the level of corporations that often have the tremendous purchasing power of the various crops that these laborers pick and harvest. And so one of the things that's really stood out to me is just how political these popular movements are without being partisan. They're very much attentive to wanting to build unity and fraternity and solidarity within societies. And I think that's a way of understanding politics that the Catholic Church can, can particularly learn from because whenever we use the word politics, we often reduce it to the national elections or who you're gonna vote for. And yet our understanding of what it means to be political is, is so much more expansive than that. And I think one thing that visiting these communities has really shown me is a tremendous amount of hope in the future of working together with those that we disagree with. And how do you do that? You appeal to common wisdom. You look to things that actually work on the ground and you don't approach social problems from a strictly partisan perspective, but rather a perspective that keeps the common good at the center of your concerns. Thank you.